Hey guys, Martinez is here. Today I want to share a quick trick uh, how to make a dodge and burn process uh, pretty easy and quick to apply. So in Pixel Metro Pro you have uh, dodge and burn tools or as they call it, lighten and darken. However, if you apply them, you have very little control since all effects are applied on the background layer. Instead of doing this, my suggestion is to go this way. First of all, create color adjustments layer, go to curves and put the curve really down. Then add the mask and invert it by pressing command plus I. Rename this layer to burn and now duplicate this layer by pressing command plus J. Rename this layer to dodge and make sure you adjust the curve in opposite way. So let's go really bright. Now press the mask layer, press B for brush, go to brush settings. Uh, get the wide brush, adjust the brush size 40 pixels. As for softness, go to around 50, put the opacity layer up to 100%. Now start painting the lines that would accentuate the face features. Okay, see the brush is a little bit small, let's make it bigger. So let's do three lines. They look somewhat like Wi Fi signal. Uh, then draw a line in the nose area under the eyes, above the lip, under the lips, and on the cheeks, like the letter Y. Okay, now let's go to burn layer and click on its mask and do the same with the darkening layer. So around the contour, let's accentuate the nose area. Okay, I think that will do. Now the last part of the trick is to double press the mask layer and Play with the feather settings. Watch the magic happen. Okay, at 50 pixels we already have blurred lines. If you go uh, higher, the effect will be even less pronounced. We have great control over how the burn or dodge effect is applied on your image. So I'll go for 50 and we'll do the same for dodge layer. Now let's group this layer by pressing command plus G and check it out. So, in case you're not a fan of a uh, really striking result, you always have a control, so you go back to adjustments layer and you can lower the curve. You can play with the feather. So, here you have before and after result. I also have a tutorial uh, where I show how to uh, make uh, highlights on the skin a bit softer, so you can check it out. And now let's do the same quick adjustments for another image. Okay, I open the meme image and I will create quick uh, two adjustments layers with different curve settings. And as said before, you have way more control of adjusting the effect than using uh, darken or lighten tools. So with just few mouse clicks, I reduce the effect to a more subtle one. So there you have it guys. This was a quick tutorial. Uh, hopefully you like it. And uh, if you have questions, please leave a comment below. Thanks and see you later.